I can remember this like it was yesterday because it was the first weekend after the season. And, you know, everybody goes home. They haven't been home in so long, you know. And my father called me and told me that my grandmother was murdered. Uh, apparently, the, the owner of her time home had problems with some gang or some of that nature, and they tried to blow it up. And she received burns on 52% of her body. She was 103 years old, my last grandparent. You know, just, and I, I didn't know what to do because I was so far away from home. Uh, nobody was there at the moment. But I decided to drink with a couple of baseball players. I mean, why? I don't, I don't know. It's not something I usually do, you know, but at the moment, it, it's, it's felt like it was all I had. And one thing led to another. I was in a car from the minors, got a legal consumption ticket, and I had to tell my coach, because in, in that small town, like, they put that type of stuff in the papers. So I figured I'd rather tell him than him find it out from someone else, you know. And I had to meet with the AD. Very strict on drinking. Never drank anything in his whole life. So he's very strict on drinking, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter my situation and what happened to me and what I was going through. I lost my scholarship. And I went from the number one Juco And I went from a Division I junior college. I was top 25 for most of the year. Making trips to Arizona for Christmas break, all that type of stuff, the luxury, to a Division II junior college where we didn't make any noise. It was hard to get recruited, and it's mostly the reason why I'm here now. After all this happened, I, I got this tattoo on my back from my grandmother. Man, so rest in peace. There's two hands letting go of a dove. Because it's so hard for me to let go of her. And the feathers, it says her name. And it's a promise that I wouldn't do anything of this nature until I was 21. And so it's a hard lesson to learn, you know? I mean, kids always want to drink. And I understand why the age is 21, because America is a very mature place. And kids don't understand, like, they just want to drink and black out, forget about everything that happened, or run away from their problems, knowing darn well that it's going to be there when they sober up. But before you do any of this illegal activity, just make sure you ask yourself one question. Is it really worth it?